All right, guys, good afternoon. It's uh, Friday, May 31st, 12.57 in the afternoon, mountain time. Hello, mountain time here in uh, southwestern New Mexico. My name is Robert. Um, I just wanted to talk today about a trade that I took uh, starting Wednesday afternoon. Um, it was a short sell trade. Um, the ticker is ANF Abercrombie & Fitch. It is something that didn't come up on my scanner, or if it did, I didn't notice it. Um, but it was something that came up, well, it would have been a few days ago that it would have hit my scanner. Um, but it, basically on my scan, it would have been popping up because of this price action hitting the lower Bollinger Band and this green line, which is the 20 DEMA line, D-E-M-A, which is a faster moving average than the exponential moving average. Uh, it crossed below the middle Bollinger Band line. Also, my uh, MACD has been showing pretty positive downward momentum. Um, these candlesticks are kind of dark and getting a little bit shorter but the RSI is still pointing down as well just indicating the strength of the of the trade of the trend um, but I did not look at this this is something I would have looked at but I did not look at this until Wednesday morning when I got up and was looking at the pre-market movers and I saw that Abercrombie and Fitch was down uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of five dollars a share um, did not notice in the pre-market or in the post market, there was nothing really going on. It was all in the pre market abruptly at 5 30 in the morning. The price um, of ANF started to drop. So let's get into this here. Why I took this trade, what about it made me want to take it? So I have two different um, scanners, they're identical. Um, one's for going long on trades, one's for shorting trades. Um, I say they're identical because they use the same exact criteria, only they're opposite. If on the long side the price has to be at or above, excuse me, at or above the top Bollinger Band, on the short side the price has to be at or below closing, that is closing at or below the bottom Bollinger Band. If on the upside my DEMA line has to be crossing the middle Bollinger Band and the price has to be above it, then on the short side the... Uh, DEMA line has to be crossing below the middle Bollinger Band and the price at or below it. Um, so we've already kind of got a downtrend. So this is, again, already something I was looking at. Then we have this big gap down here. We got this $5 gap down. Um, now, I like gaps because on the right side of a trend, the right gap will continue generally in the direction of the gap. If, if this price would have been coming down, boom, 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 and it's trending all the way down here without this gap, and then all of a sudden, bam, it gapped up, more than likely because it's in a downtrend, it's probably going to gap up and then slowly fall back down. It's correcting itself for whatever reason, and it's going to continue on a downtrend. But this is already trending down, as you can see, uh, and it's been trending down for since the middle of last month. Um, and... It then gapped down at this financial release. So if we zoom in, and crap, I need to remember to set this up one of these days. Intraday, one day, we're going to the five day, five minute chart. I use the one uh, five minute chart because I don't like all of the garbage that's on the one minute chart. It's too noisy, it's too hard to read. It doesn't do me any good. It's just, it's bouncing around, doesn't mean anything to me. Um, I, I already don't like these this chart on the five minute because I don't like all this crap on there. I got all the lines, but I need them because they're the indicators that I use. I don't just use price action. A lot of people do. Um, I use the price action as my main, uh, the main uh, indicator to trade a stock, but I use the indicators as confirmation to determine whether or not a stock is going long or going to continue whether the the momentum is still there for the stock to continue in whatever direction it's going so we have this gap down you can see it right here do 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 it's 25 ducks uh 25 dollars 
bam, starts dropping slowly. And after 25 minutes, let's see, is that right? 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. We got basically straight down. And then from there, it just started, oh, stupid thing. It just um, kept kind of trending down. And like I said, it will generally continue to trend down after that gap down in the open, which is what it did. So I bought um, or sold, I should say, because I went short twice. I shorted at uh, 20 even, and I shorted, that would be 20 shares. I shorted at 20 even, and I shorted another 10 shares at $20.30, um, which would be an average of what, you know, $20.00. Uh, 20 cents or $20.25 cents, somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't remember exactly. Well, this thing just kept going down. I had a nice little gap down yesterday. Yesterday would have been ideal to sell, but I didn't. I was hoping to get that one more uh, day out of it. Um, and I did get one more day out of it, but I never did get back down to $16.92, which is fine. Um, so I took my profit at uh, 17 phone I did all my trading on um, on Weeble so uh, I sold at 17 or bought back at 1739 I bought back right here at 1739 it was at uh, 937 in the morning so I bought back in this area uh, could have made a little bit more down here but whatever you know I was hoping to get a little bit more out of it crossed up I was like ah, I'm done with it I'm not gonna worry about it it can do it could go down for another three days but you know what I'm moving on I, I made my money um, I took my profit I moved on and that's the important thing like yeah you could have made more money but you're never gonna go broke if you're taking profit so um, always take profit when you got it always cut your losses early this one I made my profit um, it's the end of the day. It's getting close to one o'clock in the afternoon now. It's almost time to start looking for um, stocks that I want to uh, swing trade over the weekend based on the strategy that I use. And we'll get into the strategy later. Um, this was just a um, this was a chart that I wanted to show you. Um, it's a new YouTube channel, so I'm kind of excited. I got a new YouTube channel. I got a new stock trading strategy uh, that's been successful. This is one of the best trades I've made using that strategy. Um, I had been only using the strategy for going long, and then I was like, you know what, I can apply this to short too. And I practiced it, paper traded it, studied it, and I started using it, and now this is one of the best uh, trading days that I have. I don't have a large account, I don't have thousands of dollars to throw around, can't day trade all day long, so I need a strategy that's gonna work where I can hold for a day or two, make a little bit of money. If uh, nothing else, you know, I put um, <clears throat> $500 into this trade, and I walked away making, uh, eighty dollars after two days well good luck taking five hundred dollars and going to a bank and walking away with eighty dollars in interest in two days it's not gonna happen it would take a hundred years at most banks to earn eighty dollars on a five hundred dollar investment um, so I look at it in that aspect and I'd say that I did pretty good I mean heck even if I'd only made ten bucks that's better than you're gonna get at the bank for two days so I made my money um, I hope you guys enjoy this um, I'm going to be putting more videos out. I'm going to uh, outline my strategy. Um, it's not a, it's not my strategy. I shouldn't say that. It's a strategy that my buddy and I put together. We had uh, four years each of trading experience, and three and a half of them were, uh, for lack of a better word, shitty. Um, lost a lot of money. Didn't uh, didn't follow anyone's advice. Thought we knew what we were doing. We didn't. And I took an eight thousand dollar account, turned it into eleven hundred dollars, and I was like, "This ain't gonna work." So I'm gonna put this strategy out there, and I hope that if you've never traded before, that you will see this video and get excited about it. But please, please, do not go out and short the next gap down stock, or do not go long on the next gap up stock without paper trading and understanding why what I'm talking about works. Do not put a single real hard earned penny on the stock market until you have practiced. Please, I'm telling you from my own experiences, you will lose and it's going to make you cry. 31 years old and the money that I have lost makes me want to cry. I've thought about pulling it out. I've never seen a sad person on a jet ski or a, a dirt bike before. 
you know I haven't I have nothing to show for it but I know that this can be I can be successful at this I know that this can be a money maker even if I don't get rich over it, whatever it's uh, passive income and it's fun so I'm gonna be putting these videos out there um, very soon in the near future keep an eye out for them like this video share this video subscribe to my channel so you get all the alerts as soon as they come out um, and uh, you folks enjoy your Friday afternoon and the rest of your weekend pay attention for those videos guys